Colleagues, the House is resumed. Uh, we are debating the Maritime Powers Extension Bill. And Simon O'Connor had the floor. He has 10 seconds left if he wishes to take it. Is anyone going to take a call? I call the Honourable Willie Jackson. Kia ora. Kia ora, Madam Speaker. Um, to tahi e tika ana ki te mau mahara uh, tō tātou uh, rangatira katahi anō kua hinga. Uh, te pāpā uh, Shane Jones, uh, Madam Speaker, Munro Peter Jones, nō reire te pāpā. Uh, uh, I te mōhio mātou uh, tō āhua ko koe te, te pukumu mahi i ngā wāka tō nō reire te pāpā moe mai, moe mai, a moe mai rā. Uh, ka nui tēnā, e tika nui tēnei uh, wā hoki ki te uh, mihi kia Dan Bidwa, Madam Speaker, mō tana kōrero a tākui i tēnei rā, nō reira tēnei te mihi kia ia, me tana whānau i tēnei rā, uh, nō reira kia koutou, te rōpū nahinara, tēnā koutou, ngā mihi kia koutou. Kia ora, Madam Speaker, I just wanted to acknowledge first and foremost uh, our, uh, um, our colleague and, and friend Shane Jones for the loss, loss of his father uh, in the last uh, day, uh, Madam Speaker, and I'm just doing a mihi to him and the whānau, and wishing them all the, all the best in the North, and I'm sure everyone in the House, Madam Speaker, would support that. <clears throat> I, I, I mentioned, uh, and I also, just, just before continuing, wanted to mihi to the young man, Dan Bidwa, who did a tremendous speech, uh, and he, he you know, did, a, did a good job there today. I think a role model for Māori, uh, just a shame he chose the wrong party to uh, represent. But uh, uh, well done to him and to his whānau. Uh, today. Those are always special moments. But I mentioned Shane Jones, um, Madam Speaker, because Shane Jones is so anti-drugs, anti-drugs, and this Maritime Powers Extension Bill is, uh, is uh, all about stopping the drug dealers coming into the country. And so, Madam Speaker, we're seeing international crime groups targeting New Zealand by, by smuggling large quantities of illicit drugs into the uh, country. So this bill is needed to give authorities the powers to act uh, outside our territorial waters. This will allow custom um, officials, Madam Speaker, to intercept mother ships. Now, they sit outside the 24 nautical miles zone with the supply of drugs, and they send in smaller boats to try and sm uh, smuggle their rotten cargo ashore. So our country has become more and more appealing uh, uh, for these drug smug smugglers who don't care about communities, don't care about the communities that Shane Jones uh, represents in the north, and why, why the Honourable jo Shane Jones is so vigilant in this area is because we have had our communities ravaged by these uh, drug dealers. And sadly, we see inter in, uh, intergenerational um, drug use, along with intergenerational unemployment. And we see it uh, in the North, Madam Speaker. I see it, I've seen it myself in South Auckland. And, uh, and so it's time that we, we got a strategy together, and that's what this bill's all about. So I want to congratulate uh, um, our Minister, Mecca Faitari, for her vigilant work. Uh, and uh, and she's, done the, she's done this because she knows, part of the reason why she does this, is she knows the type of damage that drugs and the drug dealing can, can cause, Madam Speaker, in Māori communities particularly, her communities who she represents in the... Uh, uh, in the Ikaro Rafati, Madam Speaker. So I, I, I say well done to her, also well done to the Foreign Affairs uh, Select Committee who sat on this, um, and led by the, uh, Simon O'Connor over there, who went on and on and on and on before the, uh, um, before the Dan Bidwa speech. Uh, but uh, well done, well, well, well done to our, our Select Committee for, 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 thank you very much, for moving this through. But the essence of this, the, the essence of this, is to the essence of this is to protect our communities, and you cannot, Madam Speaker, doubt that. We've, we've, you know, a, a structure of support for our customs people, a strategy in place to stop those dirty, rotten um, drug dealers, uh, and we're talking about 1.8 billion, 1 billion in social harm annually that's happening. Uh, and this, uh, this includes police involvement, courts and prison beds. So 45,000 Kiwis receive support each year to reduce their alcohol and drug use. And so we now are on the way uh, in terms of turning that around, all thanks to this government. So I have no hesitation, uh, Madam Speaker, in recommending this bill to the House. Kia ora.
I'll just point out to the member resuming a seat that it is actually a first reading. <laughs> it hasn't yet gone to the select committee. Do it again. Oh, Madam Speaker. I call uh, Kamwal Bakshi. Thank, thank you, Madam Speaker, for your uh, uh, contribution also. <laughs>